All right, guys, today's video is going to be a great informative video on how to palpate your cows for pregnancy. Now, we are letting our vet do it. He is a phenomenal vet. He, we trust him in everything that we do. So we're going to let him kind of explain why he uh, pregnancy checks his, these cows this way. And it's going to be on our jerseys today. And then we're going to also have our herpers check next week. So we're going to do a kind of a video on both of those and put them together right here. But you're going to kind of hear from a vet and him kind of tell us why he checks these cows this way and how he tells how far along they are. So I hope you enjoy this video. All right, we're going to get Allie set up and then we're going to kind of walk through with the vet and he's going to kind of explain what he's doing as he's checking these cows to see if they are bred. So I'm going to let, turn it over to the vet and let him tell us what he's looking for and what he's doing. All right, we're going to rectally palpate this baby and see exactly how far along she is. And we tell that by where the where the where it is in the uh, position, how big it is, and also what we can feel. We can actually feel the uterus and the slip and the fluid, and we can feel the cotyledons in the babies. Okay, so she is actually about two months. That's about it. Really? Yeah. So we're we're about maybe a little further, uh, two and a half, about three, about three months. Or three so. months. Okay. So she is bred. She's covered. So, when you're inside and you're saying, okay, I'm going to feel and see how far she's bred, what are you actually feeling for the most? So, there's there's a couple different ways. If they're early bred, you actually feel a membrane slip in the uterus. And then after that, you actually feel the baby. You go from uh, a mouse to a rat uh, to a small cat, big cat, beagle dog. And then when it falls way over in there, that's usually about seven months of age. And then when it's coming back up, that's about eight, eight plus. Now, so it's the size of what you're feeling. I know you, you've heard people say they test their milk and they did the blood work. You What's can, the point of doing this kind of testing versus anyone else? So the blood work, uh, you have to send that off. And that's only a confirmation. That doesn't tell you how far along she is or anything like that. Perfect. Um, this will actually, I can feel she is covered. I can tell you how far along it is. And obviously I can do it right now. The blood I have to send off takes five, seven days and we have to go from there. That's now awesome. we use a blood like on like if we're worried about early pregnancy because you but if you go in there sometimes if you're real if you're not too gentle you could maybe abort them and we use that for maybe a you know a 25 day 30 day pregnancy okay so okay that's, so that's when we like using blood now i've heard people say oh they can test the milk now is that is there any truth to that and what what's the benefit of doing so that? the milk that's uh the milk sometimes you can test it um you basically pull on it and if it looks like glue that lets you know you're probably around five months okay but that's not very accurate another way some people will palpate when they get long bread you can actually bump them from That's the right. outside mm -hmm. and you can feel a baby here again it's got to be the right pregnancy like you could never bump because it, it's hanging all right here right now so okay. you could never bump the outside so it's got to be the right time of pregnancy to bump if now, you regularly palpate i can tell you at any point how far it now the bull's been with them for about six months and and, and he's he's bred them uh, pretty good before and quickly what now the calves came off i had both their main calves came off probably about four or five months ago what what would be causing him maybe not to breed as quick is this just the jerseys not wanting to breed back as quick so or what anytime we have milk cows like this sometimes that takes a little longer to breed back because they're using so much energy to actually milk okay so you know reproduction is a luxury okay so that's an aftermath so they're going to milk first reproduction later so if they're heavy milking it sometimes it takes longer and also heat stress right you know to get them bred you know in the middle of may is it's it's pretty pretty good you know so, so heat stress will do it plus just the fact that their dairy cows are milking it will back them up a little bit so lightly bred two to three months on alley here mm -hmm. so we we freshen up around seven months mm -hmm. so by year end we need to be Going cutting her off her, letting her dry off okay yeah treating your quarters and everything you'll be good to go all right now we're going to be doing the herefords next week what is there any difference from the dairy to the beef cow other than the fact that they're milking all the time versus drying up the other ones so quicker? yes there's a good bit of difference uh as far as the palpating uh the palpating no we know the gestation the size all that kind of stuff so it won't be that different uh it's just what we do with the information is a little different perfect okay so we're at the big beef farm if you remember uh we have already a few days passed so the vet is going to check these cows and uh we'll kind of make sure these these herpets are bred you hear them they hear the they smell the food so we're going to get these moved over once we move them over 
-hmm. we're gonna put them in here hopefully it all works out pretty easy it's just me and aiden doing it and uh vet will be here in about 30 minutes all right we're checking the, the beef cows now so what do we got on this one this one we'll check her right quick So she's about the size of a, a big cat, maybe a beagle dog. So she's about five months along. Five months. Still up in the pelvis, should be really good. All right, we'll let her out and I'm gonna ask you a few more questions. All right. Okay, so we we know they're bred. And now he, he made a good point. We're on a very hilly area, y'all know on the big bee farm. So what was some of the reason and why why would you say to stay off the hills when they start so getting So you want calves. calves to, you want, when they calve, you want a flat area because on these hills, if their head's uphill and their butt's down here and they calf, there's a good chance that they can actually prolapse their uterus. So you don't like that extra gravity pulling on that uterus. And also cattle, if they calve on the uh, hill and they're kind of weak from calving and just exhausted, sometimes they can't get up like they're supposed to going up a hill. So flat areas to calve, calve is a lot better than any, any type of hill. All right, so we know these were exposed and we always said 42, 48 days. What is actually, if you said, I'm gonna put a cow with a bull, what would you say to give her two cycles or three cycles? What what would be a good amount of days with yeah, them? Yeah, so if they do not cover within 60 days, okay. you got problems. So anywhere, okay. yeah, 45 to 60 days is perfect for to breed, get one bred back. Now, if you, as a vet, if that calf, if that cow is not bred in 60 days, either you got a bull problem or cow problem. That's right. And if you know the, the bull is breeding everything else, it's time to get rid of the cow. Yeah, the cow's gotta go. Got to go. I mean, that's, that, that, now if her name's Betsy and she's yeah. part of the family, <laughs> she stays. But if she's 42, she rolls on down the road. I understand. I understand. That's a good, good, good plan. All right. One last question. Now we talked about the difference in the dairy and then the beef. Now when you check them, same thing, no changes there. Breeding back. Now we know you're milking the the jersey on a on a typical beef cow. You know they're feeding their cow. I mean their calf. What on a breed back for a beef cow? So beef cows sometimes uh, they will just breed back for you naturally anywhere from two and a half three months. Sometimes you can pull the calf off for 24 hours. Okay. That will kick them into cycling, wow. and then they will go ahead and get them bred back quick. So pulling the calf off for 24 is a good way to kick her into cycling. So easily, way easier to breed back maybe a beef cow than a dairy cow. You Absolutely. Say? Okay. It's just so much more stress and energy she's having produced to produce milk. Yeah. They're just they're feeding us yeah. whereas these cattle are just feeding the baby so much easier to get these kind of right back awesome man thank you for all you've done They're thanks cool. okay so there you have it a vet's perspective of how he checks talking about the jerseys and the dairy cow basically from the beef and also you know why he checks the way he checks so i think that uh we can all learn something from it even the you know the, the hints of staying off the hills and things like that I've really never uh, we've birthed cows here before but I've never thought about that. So that's a great uh, a great thought that, that helped by having him here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like what the Macs are putting out. A lot of times we try to do some how-to and information, and sometimes we just do the vlogs. But thank you again for watching. Uh, tell your friends about us. We're hoping to, to keep gaining our show and channel more. And uh, we just thank you for watching. God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.